Good day, fellow investors. In the last few weeks, there has been a lot of chatter about North Korea. Their mass ma missile testing, what will happen, will there be a nuclear war, will the world collapse, will China attack, whatever. So, and that something affected the stock market. In this video, I want to show you how important events have affected the stock market in the last 60 years, whether you should follow news, and what kind of news is important to be followed. So, stay tuned. Let me first show you the North Korean impact on markets. On August 29, at 12.01, Bloomberg put this headline. Traders hunker down at stocks future slip on Korea. So, Korea launched a missile panic in the market environment. Stocks were, futures were dropping. Everything was crazy. However, eight minutes later, not eight months later, not eight years later, eight minutes later, this was the headline on Bloomberg. Eight minutes later, stocks recover as North Korea apprehension eases. Markets wrap. Same platform, totally different headline, eight minutes later. So nobody can tell me that there is an impact or there is a significant thing going on from news that change after eight minutes and that that impacts the stock market. Therefore, you should really filter out news that are important to your portfolio and news that have absolutely no relevance. Going back to North Korea, if somebody can tell me that North Korea, which is one of the least developed countries in the world, is a threat to any developed country, to all the war power from US, from China, Korea, Japan, then I think they are treating me like a child. Half of the population of North Korea is starving. They can enter in a war with Japan or South Korea or the US. I don't think so. Therefore, really, with years following what's going on, you will manage to have a filter to filter out noise. And that's very important. If you start trading, investing, being afraid of North Korea and such things, then you will probably lose a lot of money and miss out on the positive trend that the stock market is in the long term. Nevertheless, let's look at how significant past events that actually happened, not this North Korea not happening, it affected the stock market. So when Germany invaded France in 1940, on that day the S&P 500 dropped 3%. The next 20 days, the S&P 500 dropped 23%, and in the next 250 days, 20%. Pearl Harbor, 4% drop on the day. So, I don't know, 1987 stock market crash, 20% drop. Uh, Asian financial crisis, 1% drop. Unfortunately, the 9-11 terror attacks, 5% drop. Brexit, 4% drop. So. When something bad happens, usually on the day that it happens, the stock market drops significantly. However, if we look at what happens after 20 days, we can see that everything slowly evens out. After 20 days, after the 9-11 terror attacks, the stock market was up 5%. Nevertheless, after 250 days, the stock market was up, was down 14.3%. The stock market was down in 1940, after 250 days, 20%. 2000 and 2001, after the 9-11 attacks. 2008, after the Beer Stearns and Lehman Brothers collapse. You might, now, you might think that the cause of that was the event. However, let me show you a bit of fundamentals that show you that it was not the event. It was that stocks were overvalued. If we take a look at the S&P 500 cyclically adjusted price earnings ratio, in 1973 the CAPE ratio of the S&P 500 was close to 20 with interest rates being around 7%, so which was much better to invest in treasuries than in stocks, stocks overvalued. In 2000 the CAPE ratio was about 40 and interest rates around 6.5%, again much better than stocks. In 2008, the CAPE was above 25 with interest rates around 5%. So all the significant 250 days declines were not related to the event. They were related to stock market fundamentals. So events happen, politicians change, unfortunately also negative events happen, but 
those are all minor when you compare it to the global trend and that's what counts with stocks. So what you have to look is global fundamental news, not noise. To give you an example of what is fundamental news, I want to show you this headline. This is not a headline, it's really you have to dig deep into Bloomberg to find such news. I usually like to read long-term reports, Pricewaters, House and Coopers, JP Morgan and those kind of analysis. And then you can find something like this, China to ban sale of fossil fuel cars in electric vehicle push. This means a lot in the long term. This means less demand for oil, more demand for copper, nickel, cobalt, lithium and other electric vehicle related materials. And of course electric vehicles. You can find links for my videos about copper, zinc, nickel and nickel investments and copper investments in the description below. So to conclude, really filter out the noise. North Korea is noise. Even if something happens, it would last, maybe the war would last seven to eight minutes. So there could be some short-term volatility in the stock market, but nevertheless, it's just noise. The stock market in the long term will just continue to do what it's doing. What you have to filter out and find is fundamental news. The Fed announcing further tightening in the long term, and buying less bonds or the ECB buying less bonds or the Bank of Japan buying less stocks. Those are things that you can work on and really read with interest because that, those things impact the stock market. Everything else is just noise. Also what impacts the stock market is fundamentals. You have to see what are the earnings returns, what are the fundamentals and then you can see the long-term trend around which to invest, trade or whatever. Of course continue watching this channel as we try to avoid the noise and really give fundamental knowledge. So if you like the content, click like. I'm looking forward to your comments. Any fundamental trends that you want to share with us that we can look into and invest, I'm happy to read it, I'm happy to analyze it and perhaps even make a video. So please share your ideas with us. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.